All right, guys, I'm Dustin Murphy. This is Noah Humfeld. We are the Madison Angling Experience. Uh, we're out here on the South Central Wisconsin Trout Stream looking for some early season trout action. Story Creek is a class two trout stream that runs north to south through the Brooklyn wildlife area. About 435 acres are eased as part of the Story Creek Stream Bank Protection Project, and it is located about 15 miles south of Madison, close to the Dane and Greene County line. As you approach any trout stream, walk slowly. These fish can feel the vibration of you walking to the stream. Walk slow, take a second or two, and just kind of analyze the stream. Trout have a pretty wide range of visibility through the water. If you can, stay low and try and reduce your presence. Keep an eye out for structure in the section of trout stream you're fishing. These fish will use the structure to ambush their prey as it swims by. When wading upstream, ensure that you work both left, right, and middle sections of the stream before you advance. You never quite know where the trout are going to be holding, and the angle can make all the difference. Thoroughly work the water column, then slowly walk forward. Brook trout can be a lot of fun to catch, but unlike other game fish, these fish species are a little bit more fragile. You want to handle them as little as possible and get them back into the water as quick as you can. Lunker structures are man-made sections of the trout stream. They combine rock and wood to help reinforce and prevent excessive erosion of the stream, while also providing a resting place for the trout. These structures are usually rock surfaced and they cut under the bank. From above the stream, you may only be able to see some rocks lining the stream side a few inches below the water level. However, if you look into the water, there is a cut under the bank where the structure is actually serving its purpose. Most people view trout as a very spooky fish species, and most of the time this is very true. With such clear water in a small area, it can be very easy to disturb these fish. But don't let that stop you from experimenting with your presentation techniques. Here's a great technique that has produced several stream trout that not a lot of people are aware works. After conventionally fishing through a section of trout stream, try vertically jigging your lure in front of undercut banks and lunker structures. Here is proof that this technique can really help you catch more stream trout. While vertically jigging a homemade woolly bugger right in front of a lunker structure, we captured underwater video of a brook trout attacking the fly while we were holding our GoPro camera only feet from the trout's face.
Next time you're on the stream, don't forget to give this technique a try. We fished several sections of Story Creek and caught 10 brookies. We fished both in the creek and from the bank. We also used both fly fishing gear and spinning gear. When fishing in cold weather months, it's important to keep safety in mind, especially if you plan to wade into any body of water. One slip and hypothermia or worse could be knocking at your door. Most importantly, don't let those cold weather months keep you off the stream. Now that Wisconsin trout season opens in January, you can get out and enjoy stream fishing as an alternative to ice fishing. Thanks for watching this episode of the Madison Angling Experience, and check out our website, Facebook, and YouTube page for more Madison, Wisconsin fishing adventures.